that was an epic road trip. A little over 1,200 miles from Oklahoma City to St. Louis and back in five days. Well, two days driving, but we just went on a really fun family trip. And here are some highlights from some of the more hobby related stuff that we did. Spoiler, I found a new awesome hobby shop that I wish we had one in Oklahoma City. But check it out, let me know what you think. Hope you enjoy, thanks. So our first stop was the St. Louis Zoo. And I'm including this because you never know when you're gonna have inspiration strike you. As we were walking around the zoo, we went into the insect area and I found these really cool beetles that I thought, man, I'd love to paint some Tyranids like that. The next day we went to the Arch and the Arch Museum. It was fascinating learning that the arch is actually part of the National Park Service. And this short clip is of the actual model submitted in 1948 by the architect who designed the arch. And of course we had to visit some hobby shops. I have bought quite a bit of merchandise from Miniature Market Online and I was excited to learn that they had a brick and mortar store within St. Louis. It was really cool shopping through their dent and ding section and their vast array of paints. Here I find some turbo dork paints, which hopefully I can use to paint some tyranids here in the future. The next day we visited the St. Louis Art Museum and I found this dry brush from the 1700s. I wonder if they'll let me borrow it. Now on to my new favorite hobby shop that's way far away from me. This is Mark Twain Hobby in St. Charles, St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. I don't know if it's in the town or not, but anyways, they had a whole aisle dedicated to Woodland Scenics and other terrain manufacturer, co manufacturer companies. It was really cool. It was really cool seeing a shop, not just about trains or Gundam or games, but they had so many different things. Great case of painted models. An aisle of Gundam kits and figures. Not as much sci-fi stuff as I would have liked, but beggars can't be choosers. And of course, paints. They had so many different paint brands from Tamiya to Vallejo to AK Interactive and all the other products that they, they come with that. So like I said, Mark Twain Hobby, that place was really cool. I'll post a link to their website down in the description. It's not an affiliate link. I just really like them and Miniature Market. I'll post both those links. Speaking of Miniature Market, I'm really excited to try these Turbo Dork paints. They're supposed to be color shifting and I think they're gonna look really cool on some Tyranids here in the near future. And as far as Mark Twain Hobby goes, if you're in the St. Louis area, go check them out. If you're passing through, check them out because they had an awesome selection of 
different type of type of static grass. Granted, this is for trains. You could probably get a lot of this at a local train store if you have one of those in your area. But my local train store doesn't carry very much stuff. And I found these really cool field grass. I think it's called, yeah, field grass. Really long tufts. And uh, I've got some board builds coming up in the future. So I picked up some of this foam safe super glue. Anyways, I just want to encourage you next time you're on vacation, go check out a hobby store in another city. It, it may become your new favorite like Mark Twain did for me. So anyways, do what you always do, everyone. Go out there, make something cool, and I'll check you next time. Thanks.